I mean Cashew Walk West Prospect St. Catherine with, with Mr. Williams. Mr. Williams and he's describing to me how serious the drought is. Tell me what's going on, Mr. Williams. Well we have about seven months drought, severe drought, you know. Because even we let go the animal in for three years and they have nothing to do with us come back inside. So rain has been falling from, from November, from November, from November and rainfall. 2009. We've never gotten three rainfall for a week during that time, no matter how small. Never got three rainfall for a week. It's maybe like one for the month again, that's it. So if you see the grass start look green like now, the bees start low, it's down back to square one again. So the only little riverside we have little things to curl to reap off from. So we have nothing to eat the animal there, man. It's very, very dry. It's very dry. It's very dry. I've seen it in my life. Coastal Bermuda, which is the only one you can get now so far. Coastal Bermuda. Coastal Bermuda. Like when you know your grass then. Mm -hmm. No farmers, no grass. Coastal Bermuda. And now the guinea grass. Guinea grass. Anything else? Your mineral supplement. Give them mineral minerals. Let me give them um. Let me give them. And I'm drinking water. I'll give them the cell man. Oh, you give them cell minax. Yes, drinking water. Yes, cell minax, guys. Yes, Lovely minerals. product. Mm -hmm. We're drinking water. We give them the salt, we can iodine, the salt, so, and then that as well. Salt mm -hmm. block. Salt block. Mm -hmm. But um, I give them a supplement of the, um, the poultry litter with the weed milling, the dry poultry litter with the meat milling, dump it slightly with some molasses water, mix at the race of one to five. Molasses? Yeah, at least I want to try. One to five. One to five, yes, sir. One to five, yes. That's what's a cooking side. That's what's a cooking, cooking side. Cooking side, yes. Yeah. So your personal mix. Your personal mix. So I'm going to the hyperbag feed. Hyperbag feed, mm -hmm. because of expense. <laughs> we have to do one thing, you know, because I make your own feed at two pounds per, per, per animal per day. It will last me more than maybe a day above more day, for example. All right, all right. We'll go work out something. Yeah, understand? We'll go work out something. Right, right. So this is this is good good yeah. record keeping. Yeah man, it's an effort to try. Yeah it. man, we used to do it on a regular basis and up time. Yeah, we do it on Famacha, Famacha really good. Nice. No, Famacha, you know. No, lovely. And the Famacha. But since the COVID, the nutrition has gone down, so I can't blame me for worm anymore and like what I've done. You understand? One time we could have said a worm or something animal, but because of the feed now. You might go to there and get a good amount of feed. And look more like next year go to get a small amount, so it's up and it's down. Up and it's down. Mm -hmm. Go, 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 Because we eradicate guango, guango can substitute a lot of feed. Eh? That is so true. That's what we're doing about guango. Yeah, guango high in a protein. Yes. And I, um, I spoke with them about this plant we call um, overlook bean. Overlook bean. If you ever see, it grow about, some of them grow up to almost a foot tall. Overlook bean. Mm -hmm. um, it's higher in protein than corn. Overlook bean. Yeah, it grow widely, it can grow wide in a wide variety of um, different climate, in a different environment. And we don't plant it in Jamaica. I dried some of it, crush it, and I feed it to you both them. And to me, it was, it was just like soya bean. 